Matthew's got one that could very well help you um, with a parking problem. Now, you remember you said you would get a smartphone if it could help you do the ironing. Yeah, I did. Well, how about this? A smartphone that helps you park. You get out of your car. This was announced, uh, this was presented rather by the French company Valio. And uh, you can walk off and do your business. You could come and present the uh, the bulletins to yeah. you. And the car parks itself. This uh, French company hoping that this will take off when it starts to be equipped on cars from 2017. What do you think of that? I'm not impressed. It still doesn't do the ironing, does it? I mean, what I really want is He's something that does the never ironing. never happy, is he, this man? I'm never happy. We are talking about Christmas toys now. Uh, there is a business reason, despite the silly hats, as I just saw myself and I'm horrified. <laughs> now, Christmas spending will actually be slightly down in Europe. Won't yeah. be a surprise uh, to know that uh, about by about two percent across the board, and about half of what households spends actually mm -hmm. goes on toys for children. That's right, yes, Stuart, people starting to arrive here. I can tell you, when I got here a few hours ago, I practically had the whole show to myself, but that's going to change. Over 350,000 visitors expected over the course of this week, and they'll be visiting stands from more than 2,000 exhibitors. On Sunday, it will be trade firmly back on the agenda. The French president will be attending a French Qatari business summit here in Doha. He'll also visit a development by the French construction company Bouygues, with Qatar looking to spend multi-billion dollars worth of funds on a number of projects over the next few years. Francois Hollande is hoping he can help position French companies to win some lucrative business deals. A Samsung we've been taking a look at. Now, shares have been monitoring them uh, all morning. They're up about 1.7% uh, this morning. Now, this follows the launch of their latest watch, the smart watch called the Galaxy Gear. They launched it in Berlin on Wednesday. Now, uh, they're not the first. Sony launched a watch called Pebble last year, but uh, Samsung's offerings have been eagerly awaited, particularly ahead of what Apple might be uh, doing. Now, the market for these watches is expected to be huge, with uh, sales estimated at uh, anything from 1 million this year to 36 million by 2018. Well, let's listen to one view of the new watch. Now, right. the theory is that if you are friends with people who are not paying back their loans, a little bit dodgy in that department, <laughs> then perhaps you might not be a safe bet yourself. At least this is the policy of uh, this company called uh, Lendo, which uh, mm. says that it can comb through your friends to see if any red flags emerge. Interesting. So I'm friends with you. Does that mean my credit worthiness has shot up? Then, I, was one <laughs> I was thinking the other way around. Maybe I should unfriend you, Stuart. I don't know. Oh, that's Tell nice. Matthew Warren, <laughs> you can go away now. I might let you back in 55 minutes. We'll see. Matthew would be business on France Bank.